the Southern Railways A1X Terrier tank engine. This is the one that I made in Alphacraft. I'm going to show you how you can make one too. Before we can build any engines or rolling stock or anything, we need rail. I'm going to use my variation of Crafty Fox's rail lines. Uh, if you're working in creative or you have access to a high producing iron farm like Frilly Offs Iron Alphas, this could be the one for you. So you take anvils and you lay them end on end in two rows with a gap of one between each. Now it's got to be laid this way. If you turn it this way, it doesn't meet up. Great for fences, not great for rail lines. Crafty Fox uses smooth stone to make what look like concrete sleepers. I'm using oak slabs because I'm going for something a bit more old fashioned. So you put the slabs on every second anvil and do the same in the middle. Remember to line them up and on the other side as well. I also like to lay some grey or light grey carpet in between for scree or ballast and also importantly for spawn proofing. There's our railway line ready. In order to build the engine you will need the following. 32 dark prismarine stairs, 52 dark prismarine blocks, 34 dark prismarine slabs. Green concrete is a better colour but it doesn't come in stairs and slabs, hence the dark prismarine. 32 nether brick stairs, 25 nether brick slabs, 9 nether bricks, 3 blocks of coal, 8 blocks of concrete, or you could use 8 nether brick blocks, 6 blocks of red concrete, 15 blocks of grey terracotta, 2 nether brick walls, 11 prismarine walls, 7 levers, 4 pistons, 16 iron trapdoors, one birch fence, seven lanterns, six pieces of green carpet, one item frame, one compass, one blast furnace, and a waste block of your choice. Now to work. Waste block, put it down on one of the tracks. Take red concrete, place one on top of the waste block. Now you can get rid of your waste block and then go one, two. So you end up with three red concrete, straddling your rails, but one block up. And now the pistons. One and two. Two levers on the outside red concretes, flick them open, and you've got buffers. This comes straight from Crafty Fox. Go have a look at his channel, I'll put a link in the description. And in between the levers, a birch fence for a coupling. Now take the grey terracotta, come behind the red concrete and pistons, and from the middle red concrete, we're going to place 15 grey terracotta blocks. One, two, And now at this end, we're going to repeat this setup, but without the birch fence. So, three red concrete, two pistons, two levers, flick the levers. And now instead of the birch fence, we're gonna put a nether brick slab, bottom half, two of them. That's the undercarriage done, but we need wheels. Wheels are made with nether brick stairs. So we're going to leave one grey terracotta and on the second one, a right way up nether brick stair. Under that, an upside down nether brick stair and on the other side, one upside down, one right way up. Leave a gap of two grey terracotta and repeat a wheel starting on the next one. Leave another gap of two and make a third wheel.
that's our wheels pop over to the other side and repeat what you've just done next dark prismarine slabs so the end with the birch coupling is the front so come behind the red concrete at the front one two prismarine slabs one two more waste block upside down prismarine stair come back remove the waste block upside down prismarine stair one two three slabs and then one two more and then two more slabs and repeat the upside down prismarine stairs as you had them before Fill in behind with slabs, one, two, three, four, and fill in the two block gap here. And again, we're gonna pop over to the other side and repeat the same. Coupling rods, best I can do is iron trap doors. So on the front wheel, at the top of the bottom upside down stair, one iron trap door. We're going to place seven more, so that's eight in total. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. If you end up on this front upside down stair on the back wheel, you've done it right. And you guessed it, same on the other side. Now for the boiler. We're going to start with black concrete on your first grey terracotta working from the front. And then either side of that, an upside down nether brick stair. Three black concrete on top of that and one more. So you end up with a cross shape. And if you don't like the nether brick and the black concrete, if it's too much of a contrast for you, by all means, swap out the black concrete for nether brick. And on the top part of the cross, nether brick stairs one lever on the front in the middle push it down okay we're going to more or less repeat that if you don't want to waste black concrete feel free to fill in the back with a waste block. Now for the green section we're going to start with one, two, three upside down prismarine stairs. Do the same on the other side. Three prismarine blocks on top and fill in the inside with waste blocks if you want to. Now on this last row of stairs and block, we're gonna put prismarine block and we're gonna take it along seven. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And that should take us to level with the back of the back wheel. Do a second row on top, but take this one only six blocks. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Same on the other side. and finish each end with a prismarine stair. Okay, come back to just behind the black part of the boiler and we're gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Same on the other side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And fill in the top with prismarine block. fill in with waste blocks and if you want to fill in anything here um, use slabs it's cheap but that way if, if anyone's sticky beaking underneath they won't see dirt in the way and now for the funnels because this is a steam engine on the second concrete from the front one 
two nether brick walls, leave a gap of four, one, two, three, four, and put one prismarine block. Now, if you're worried about things spawning on this, just spawn proof it with the green carpet. It's not a perfect color match, but it's probably the best you're gonna do. All right, let's make the cab. Come to the last prismarine block here and put one, two prismarine blocks on top. And we'll make the cold tender. So leave a gap of one block and put one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Build that up to a height of two. Grab your prismarine wall and put one, two on this first dark prismarine block. Same on the other side, one, two, and cap the roof with nether brick. And because it's bottom half slabs, that's spawn proof. Okay, let's work on the inside of the cab. So dark prismarine again. You want one, two, and three blocks. And the spaces in between get prismarine wall. Fill in anything you don't want with the waste blocks and put a furnace in the gap here. We're gonna build up the floor now with nether brick blocks, just nine of them. Waste blocks here if you want, or you could put extra coal blocks and put your three coal blocks in the tender. And now one, two, three prismarine walls and one in the middle and one in the middle here. Now we're going to make a pressure gauge, item frame, compass, and we'll put some control levers either side of the blast furnace. Almost done. We need some step ups for getting into the engine. So on this upside down prismarine stair, on the bottom part, one nether brick slab and one on top of it. Do the same on the other side. Lanterns are next. Two on the front, you can put them on the concrete or you can put them on the pistons. But if you close the pistons, you'll pop the lantern. Lanterns on the back the same way. Two just in front of the cab. And even though it's not necessary for light, I like to hang one inside the cab just for the look of the thing. Two last touches. We need iron bars for safety. They're optional, but I like the way they look. So two either side of each entrance. And you need banners. I've got an S and an R for Southern Railways. So either side, one block back from the front of the tank, leave a space and put your other banner. And there we have it. One Southern Railways A1X Terrier Pannier tank engine.